To write the name for PbNO3 2, we first need to recognize this NO3 here. This is the nitrate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. We have two of them bonded to the lead atom. Lead, that's a transition metal. So we have this metal and then this polyatomic ion made up of nonmetals. Metal and nonmetals, that's an ionic compound. So we can use these rules here to write the name for PbNO3 2. We'll first write the name for Pb as it appears on the periodic table. Pb, that's lead. Next, we'll write the name for this polyatomic ion, the nitrate ion. So lead, lowercase n, and so far we have lead nitrate is the name for PbNO3 too. But we said lead is a transition metal, and that means it can have a different charge depending on what it's bonded to. Here it's bonded to two nitrate ions, and each one of these nitrate ions, the whole thing, has an ionic charge of 1 minus. 2 times this 1 minus, that's 2 minus. The lead has to be 2 plus. And to show that, in the name, we write a Roman numeral 2 and put parentheses around it. So the name for PbNO32 is lead 2 nitrate. If you're given the formula here, this 2, it tells you the lead is going to have a 2 plus ionic charge. So you know you're going to have to have 2 of these nitrates, since each one is 1 minus, to have the charge balance out, have a net charge of zero. This is Dr. B with the name for PBNO32, lead to nitrate. Thanks for watching.